Hey guys, Silence Yell here. Welcome back to the Uta Macross Gacha video. So, it's already past a day since the Gacha came out. But, anyways, we're gonna do it because it's never too late to try and obtain a brand new costume. So, we're gonna dive into Freya's brand new Gacha and let's take a look to see whether this plate is actually worth your investments of your singing stones or not. So straight away off the bat, we can see that it has a 3,523 total stat, which is pretty close to what Makina has, if I recall correctly. So yeah, it's somewhat close enough, but not exactly the same. So let's go take a look and see whether the skills of the episode plate for Freya is actually close to or on par of Makina's because well, Makina definitely has a fantastic skill set on her episode plate. So let's take a look. So immediately off the bat, we can see both skills for active skill and live skill are at S rank. So active skill, for 20 seconds, you have an easier time tapping notes. Um, pretty much similar to what Makina has. Uh, both plates ended up being more of an active practice plate, I suppose, um, where both plates can be used as a center and it's going to help you out with um, practicing for those extreme songs or maybe using them to clear um, those mission type events that's coming up after the current one we're going through live skill score and damage so fantastic if you guys don't have an episode play with a skill like this that helps you boost 100 percent up in your score by depleting your HP for every second during the 16 second activation period you know yeah so if you guys don't have an episode plate like this I guess you could invest in this one because well Freya does have a pretty decent amount of total score um, for this particular episode plate so do take note of the four divas you're capable with this plate alright and of course just like Makina this plate comes with these score note so for those who are achieving high scores and all these kind of things this episode plate is the first of its kind yes because well we've seen episode plates with the score and damage ability but they do not have this special note attached to the episode plate so this one makes it even more appealing for those who are hardcore high score achievers if you are a Freya fan all the more you should have this in your arsenal because it is definitely currently the best live skill support plate that Freya has. Alright, so let's take a look at this initial stats. So it focuses on voice and a bit of soul. And of course, center skill, well, the unit's total is increased by 20% up. So not the best center skill out there. Therefore, immediately you can tell that this episode plate is definitely not meant to be used as a center position as episode plate. Surprisingly enough, it isn't um, because in the past, well, some of the events, the second gacha usually focuses on the um, maybe like a live skill support or maybe a center position um, episode plate, depending on which kind of episode plate appeared in the first gacha if it was a high score achieving episode plate in the first gacha the second gacha will usually sub, um, feature an episode plate that is a live skill support but strangely enough this time around for this event both gachas featured live skill support episode plate so very very strange first of its kind but who knows maybe i might be wrong anyways let's dive into the gacha itself i only have enough for a single template pool for freya sadly to say so what i'm just uh, looking out for is maybe an episode plate that helps me um, access to her costume and then i can maybe use up my episode ops to uh, unlock the costume itself so let's do this guys hopefully all the luck has not washed down with all the free template pool gachas and of course with makina giving me her episode plate i don't know freya might be a bit jealous and might hesitate giving me her episode plate um so yeah okay so we do get wow we do get five planes so i don't know um it might not guarantee us a rainbow plate we do get four red boxes though so there is a chance that um, the red boxes might evolve so just hoping hoping very hard 
if not, you know, getting duplicate, yeah. So no evolution there, getting duplicate five, uh, sorry, four star episode plates is pretty awesome as well. Um, because, well, it's going to unlock secret bots as always. And then of course, the more luck we have on the episode plate, the more useful it's going to be um, during the ticketing events or maybe even getting resources for unlocking your episode plates. So yeah. Alright, ooh, more Mirage, I like. <laughs> okay, so definitely we won't be getting a 5 star episode plate in this pool, so that's kind of a bummer, hopefully. Okay, so we do get one of the new episode plates that unlocks um, Freya's costume, so that's pretty fantastic. Or is that 3 episode plates? I don't know. I really didn't memorize all the brand new episode plates from Freya's gacha, so. Uh, yeah, so let's take a look. So does this one give the costume points? Yes, it does. What about this one? Yes, it does. So I guess we do get three plates with the costume points, so that's pretty fantastic. Um, that basically just means that I will have to use lesser episode plates, I suppose, um, to unlock Freya's costume. So let's go and try. Let's try. The big word here is try <laughs> to unlock um, Freya's brand new costume. It is only a third into the points, I suppose, um, just from the look of it and um, estimation value. So let's get all the points for the costumes first. All right, and then let's see how much episode plates. I'm uh, sorry, episode orbs that I have to toss into unlocking the costume. It might be a very painful experience because episode ops are not easy to come by for those who are free to play you definitely know what i mean for those who pay to play i'm sure you still understand the feeling <laughs> um because well real money is involved and of course getting episode ops um means that you probably put a lot of duplicate plates with um costume points of a costume that has already been unlocked Alright, so let's take a look and see how far we go. Okay, so we still need about um, 810? No. Yeah, 810 points. Whew, okay. So, alright, let's go into the item slot for the costume. There we go. I do have 22 large ones. If you're wondering how in the world did I get so many, well, it's because of those free 10 episode, uh, 10 episode, uh, bleh, bleh. why am I fumbling at this point in time? It is kind of almost 12 midnight in my country. I'm exhausted from work. So, all right, so <laughs> let's do this again. Uh, if you're wondering why in the world do I have so many large episode ops, um, it's mainly because of the 10 episode plate pools. I managed to get a lot of duplicates. Um, and they kind of gave me a lot of points to unlock these episode ops. Um, the video for those uh, template pools will be coming up soon enough, I think. We are just a few days away from um, the free template pools um, coming to its end. So yeah, okay, so let's take a look. Um, I don't really want to use that many large ones to unlock the costume. It is very painful. Okay, let's see. I can use... I don't know, do I have enough, uh, I just need about 90 points, so do I have enough from the smaller ones? Um, okay, so this one gives 50, I don't think I have enough, okay, so I can I can use up um, a few of the large ones, oops, nope, not gonna use all of them, uh, I'm gonna do it until here, gonna use 6 large ones, then I'm gonna use probably 2, um, yeah, medium-sized ones. There we go. So we can unlock the costume here right now. There we go. Probably not the best option <laughs> to unlock the costume. Very nice. I gotta say, I think this is one of the costumes that I really like. Um, for Freya's collection, um, yeah. So, you know, it it is actually pretty well designed. Um, you know, considering her 
her figure figure line and all this kind of stuff and her personality um yeah i think it really does well um in to add it to her collection of um costumes and you know among all the Valkyrie members that um put on this particular costume design for um Valkyrie third life i think freya's uh and kaname's um i think yeah i think freya's and kaname's um are the nicest looking ones you know don't blame me if i <laughs> i mean forgive me for those who like mikumo makina and reina i i like reina personally but somehow or rather i still think her costume design doesn't really fit her um her style her figure her personality makina is definitely up her alley uh, but it's just that it's too sexy for me <laughs> um mikumo's is pretty okay i guess but the thing is the design isn't exactly flattering her personality um yeah so i i don't know i think i have mikumo's one unlocked so let's see if i have it here yeah you can take a look at the whole stack of yeah there we go so you know mikumo's i mean if we didn't know mikumo's personality and I would just look at the costume design itself on Mikumo. I think I would have accepted uh, uh, I would have accepted it as it is. But the thing is, I kind of I mean we we all know how Mikumo is. Um, this costume doesn't really flatter her mysterious side. Uh, so I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys think about Mikumo's costume? What do you guys think about Reina's costume? What do you guys think about Makina's costume? I, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people have a lot to say about Makina's costume. <laughs> but yeah, personally for me, the costume set for um, the Walkerated Life key visual for this one, um, I think the ones that really matches the personality of the Walkerated members uh, belongs to Kaname and Freya. Um, yeah, so I mean, Reina's does look cool, but it doesn't really flatter her body figure, I suppose. So yeah, anyway guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys had better luck than I do, especially for all the Freya fans out there. Hopefully you managed to get your waifu, uh, waifu's episode played. Um, for me, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty happy enough that I managed to unlock it. I think I have to try and unlock Kaname's because hers is the only one I don't have unlocked at the moment. So if I want to really get a full set, I think I might have to toss in a few episode ops to this and it's gonna be very painful. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I should hold off. But <laughs> guys, uh... Thank you guys so much for watching. I can't say thank you more than enough every episode. But yeah, um, if, you stuck, if you stuck around all the way until the end, it's pretty fantastic of you guys. I uh, appreciate it greatly. Um, and as always, if you like the video, let me know by hitting the like button or comment your thoughts down below. As always, I'll try my best to respond. Uh, and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed just yet. And I'll see you guys. Oops, something fell. <laughs> I'll uh, see you guys in the next Two Time Across video. Until then, bye!